Hello, Adam Rayner here, Talk Audio TV. Today I'm at Auto Audio, which is, uh, well, it's a bit of a centre of excellence. The people who get their cars fitted here, well, some of them I'm not allowed to even talk about. Um, but what you're looking at, apart from me and reflection, is a set of Morel Elate Limited Edition Series uh, components. They're three ways, they're two and a half grand. They're limited to only, uh, well, 500 units worldwide, but these ones are personally signed and voiced by, uh, well, the founder and senior technician, Mayor Mordecai, at Morel in Israel, and they're signed as well. These are gorgeous speakers, but uh, two and a half grand is quite a lot of money, um, <laughs> just for the drivers before you start installing them. And I know that we've got uh, some serious end users on Talk Audio, and there are people who will buy and enjoy these, but the reason I'm here today is to talk about the much more affordable ones. Still a serious price, a little bit like that reassuring and expensive beer, but we're going to uh, do a bit of an unboxing on the new Morel Virtus speakers. But before we do that, you just got to see the kind of operation that is dealing with these things. Hey, I know I just uh, waxed lyrical about going off into the warehouse to, uh, well, sorry, into the fitting bay to check out what's going on here. But you have to look at this, uh, this front house bit. First of all, this loudspeaker, check out www.talkaudio.co.uk Boomzilla. Now, if you go and look at the Boomzilla cartoon strip, you'll actually see these bulbous things here, these. <sighs> well, it ain't final till these are sung because these, these are the Morel fat lady. And the things that have been said about these in reviews, you wouldn't believe it, just carbon fiber, they are seriously massy. And in the background, oh, hi, how are you? this cute little vehicle. This was, uh, well, there are two bazooka base tubes that look like NOS bottles. And this, in case you're wondering, was called the chill kit. Yep, liquid cooled amplifiers, liquid cooled subwoofers. The amps weren't hooked up to it, but the subs certainly were. Okay, enough of the uh, amazing front of house. I'll have to put this fat lady back where I found her. Oh baby, I want to hear these. And let's go and check out the cars. Okay, I'm back again. This is uh, the workshop at Auto Audio. And in the air behind me is the most gorgeous Morgan. Get my head out of the way, look at this thing. Wow. The cars in here are just astonishing. First of all, down here, unless I'm very much mistaken, I think this, well, I think this is a Bentley of some kind under the wrap, so I'm not too sure. And that bit of yellow there, well, that's off this yellow car here. Lamborghini. Under its very own individual wrap, come off a roll. So that uh, when you cover another car up, like that one over there, which is another Lamborghini. In this case, I believe it's Murcielago, I was told. Whoa, that's a bit bad camera work there, sorry guys. Next to it, a G-Wagen. Much more expensive than the Range Rover, painted matte black again here. That uh, Lambo was painted in the uh, paint booth in the corner. Next to it is an Escalade, having a sound system put in it. For an eminent photographer. We sweep back the other way. Well, that's uh, an AMG SLS Mercedes of some monstrous variety. Here in the foreground is a Maserati. Somewhat incongruously, there is a black London taxi cab over the way. There it is. There's another Bentley beside that. The Rangy having some work done on it over there. That's a Rolls Royce. Here we go. There's a Spirit of Ecstasy. Just beyond that, a Porsche. Land Rover that the guy has converted for a big estate somewhere to use as the wagon for carrying all the game around him. Bit of a classic Aston Martin. Over there with the bonnet up, that's another Maserati. Just out of shot, there's a little Porsche under the uh, roof line there, I think. And yeah, there it is. And just uh, sticking up a little bit of white in the distance is a roof of an AMG 63 Mercedes. So yeah, this is not the kind of normal load of cars that you find in uh, the average car fettling place. This is auto audio. Right, let's go and look at these Morels. Okay, right, so I'm, uh, I'm in the leather fettling department here. I'm, this is one of the only places in the UK that does what these guys do and, and has Connolly Hyde sticking up now. There's a bit of leather trim going on to uh, a bit of a MDF construction here. This truly is a place that anybody in Talk Audio would want to have basically the automotive equivalent of being let loose naked with a platinum card in. Can you imagine if you could just come in here and say, I want this, this, and I want Bob to leather trim. Oh, yes, Prass and uh, Matt, the other guys who work on this department. But if we zoom down to here, 
Yes, in fabulous uh, children's television style. And this is this is not product placement. <laughs> but let's have a little look. Let's have a little look at what's in here. Um, this is uh, Virtus 602. Now, if I'm not wrong, what's in here will be a two-way system. A little bit of a leaflet. The uh, Morel sticker there. Now, uh, one of the guys earlier when I was talking to him said that he really loves the new grills on these. So let's have a little look at that. These are serious pieces of uh, pressed steel there with a nice sort of rubbery liner there to go up against the um, actual chassis. I don't know if you can see that there. Yes. And look at this transducer. On this paper pulp cone. Nice big suspension. Press chassis. Now you can see a little splash of blue in there. That's the outside of the voice coil. If I do this as well, it's actually, for the size of speaker, vast. This is something that Morel are very good at, the uh, enormous loudspeaker voice coils, which give their transducers this amazing degree of grip. Now, uh, with that mid bass, there's a little tweeter in here. This is the T120. I'm packing this here. Here we go. So a little shifty at this. Yes, so tweetery. Can tell you that they are objects of enormous beauty and fabulous fidelity. Now there is one interesting thing. Dr. Dre, I'm sorry guy, you were way behind Morel. Because people have been counterfeiting Morel speakers for much longer than uh, they've been ripping off Dre's Beats headphones. So much so that the guys at Morel had to do something about it. And this is what they did. There is a uh, little polarizing doodah. And in order to check that this is a genuine product, basically what we do is we go up to the uh, silvery hologram, we put this across it, the magical word genuine should appear. Let's hope that, is that working on camera? I'm not altogether sure because of the nature of uh, the way these things are. But the fact is, is it most assuredly does show up as the word genuine on that sticker. To the naked human eye. Meanwhile, the passive crossovers. The bits that are the traffic cop for the sound that sends the tweety bits to the tweeters and the rest of the other ones. Well, these are typically beautiful morels. I'll show that again to the camera. And if you look deep into the uh, actual box, uh, see if it'll focus. Come on, sweetie, you can do this. There we go, 0 dB, plus 2 dB, minus 2 dB. That's a little jumper that you move that engages the use or not use, as it were, those little square resistors which basically is about attenuating or turning down the tweeter output. Now, this is a passive device, so we can't add anything, so there is no plus 2 dB, there are just two levels of attenuation, as it were. But it's uh, very, very sexy. And of course, one place to connect the amplifier wire, one for the woofer and one for the tweeter. And uh, there we go. There's a whole bunch of mounting hardware. Let's just uh, show you this. For the tweeters, basically, there's a whole load of different options. And look at these lovely little connections. And my favourite little bit, just like with JL Audio Amplifiers, the Morel badges are the last thing that you stick on when you finish your installation. Because they're so pretty and shiny. Now, in here, we've got the three-way set. Which is uh, the classic sort of sound off entrance pod thing. With the uh, mid and the uh, tweeter on the A pillar and the mid bass in the door. And this is the uh, same mid bass transducer. Same tweeter, but tucked away under here. Here we go. Ah. Is the third part of the three-way. Now there's not a great deal for the camera to see because it is just a transducer with a sticker. But that bit of foam on the back is natural wool fibre damping, and is about damping the back of what looks. Well, I can't see whether it's a dome or a cone, but I do want to find out. Very, very sexy bit of kit. Second only to the passives, which as you can see, have got a whole load more stuff in them, including big fat coils for the base. And if you look on there, one in and three out. Plus, of course, that same attenuation for the tweet to the same circuitry is in there. Come and see that you can do this. There we go. So there we have it, the uh, Morel Virtus loudspeakers. 
I'm going to uh, get a grip of the two-way set to take them back to Talk Audio HQ and give them a try out. Uh, meanwhile, the three-ways are rather delicious, but they certainly ain't two and a half grand. So although, yep, you're talking about six or eight hundred quid worth of loudspeakers, these really are some of the, uh, well, let's get them tested and find out just how good they are. Adam Rayner, signing out for Talk Audio TV.